the season five finale and we're going all out. I was thinking about this when I was in the shower washing my knives. Two birds, one stone. But it's pretty incredible you made it through though. The only thing that could have made the season worse would be a nip slip. Oh my god. Nip slip! No! no we can't show that on air. Tom! No! no baby, I, no, no. We're, we're doing a space themed episodes. No nip slip. But we did the space thing last semester. Yeah, and it was a huge hit. Sequels are always disappointing. Ever see Godfather 2? What about a Hanukkah episode? Okay, no. It's April. Exactly. They'll never expect it. Caroline, that is just... I mean, that idea is... That's nice. actually pretty funny. Oh my god, Jafer, I was about to say the same thing. I was about to, uh, get out of my head, you perv. Oh my, get out. <laughs> Money talks in this town. Do you have this in quarters? Because I left my car running. <laughs> We're going to have some trouble finding props. Nora, what's our budget like? We spent the last of it on a dog's funeral. All right. Well, first off, do any of you have a menorah? Oh, yes, I do, actually but I lent it to my frat brothers at the Jewish house. Wait, you lent your menorah to somebody? Yeah, it was a special menorah. But if you go there and you ask for Nathan, he'll have it. He's about yay high, um, like a little bean of a man. Just imagine Seth Rogen if he were twice as Jewish. Okay, so Nora, can you do that? Alone? <laughs> I'm sorry, have you seen Animal House? Fine, Logan, you go with Nora, you never do anything, fixed. Okay, don't, I don't have time for this. Also, has anyone seen Dylan? I've been doing some grocery shopping for Jeffrey since he's been so busy at grief counseling. I'm having a great time. It's really nice to have someone finally trust me with money again. So we just left this year. You know, I don't recall my job description including running errands as stupid as the person I'm running them with. There's no walk in the park for me either. What's up? Hi. We're looking for someone named Nathan. Nathan? Bro, I don't know a Nathan. He, he's, he's like tall. He's kind of a, a bean of a man. Seth Rogen, twice as Jewish. Oh. Are you talking about Douchebag Jones? Me? Sure? Yes. Okay, you two, wait in the main room. I'll go grab him, all right? Thanks. Bueno. All right. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it either, but I am the biggest fan of the smile that brings to uh, all my brother's faces, am I right? Douchebag Jones! Yes. Douchebag Jones! Guess what? What, what, man? I got an A on that chemistry final. Oh, I'm so proud of you, buddy. Good job. That kind of rally question didn't trip you up. No, not at all, thanks to you. You know what you should do to celebrate? What? You should go find a spirit buddy, find a spirit uh -huh. buddy, and then go trip on those shrooms we got in the fridge, huh? Oh my god, that's such a great idea! A Thank you, Douchebag Jones! <laughs> So, what can I do for you? Um, so we're looking for a menorah, and our friend Schaefer said that he lent you his, so... Yes, 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 I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, hold on just one moment. This is somehow the most uncomfortable I've ever been in a frat house, and I was at the Pearl Harbor party. Okay, well, that was a rager on a party, first of all, and I really wanted to go, and I wasn't invited, so that's what you're liking me. So, bad news, uh, didn't find it, but I did put out an APB to all my dudes to try and find it. You put a Pabst Blue Ribbon on a menorah? Oh my, an APB, not a PBR, you moron. Well, maybe they had to put a fire out, because it's a menorah. With alcohol? Whoa, 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 okay, Kimo Sabes, let's just all calm down for a second, right? You try calming down with his voice in your ear all day long, okay? Nora, you should wear a mask. Nora, you have an old woman 
name. What's up with that? Well, at least it's better than... Logan, you're making this a hostile workplace. Logan, I'm gonna tell Jeffrey you're eating all the donuts made for the crew again. Jeffrey ate dog leukemia medicine for the better part of the semester. What is he gonna do? Enough! So there's a lot of tension between you two, and I think we're gonna break it down, okay? Hey, douchebag Jones, got some coke and mentos. We're gonna launch Derek's wheelchair down the street, you in? Another time, Kev, another time. Uh -huh. I never thought we'd make it here. Not after that first episode. Does it bother me that I don't know who tampered with the teleprompter? Yes. It does. But, uh, c'est la vie, right? <laughs> what matters is that we're here and we're putting on a good show. Last show. Yeah, I'm about to head over there and rehearse right now. <laughs> I know, right? Not once has Tom stepped into that building unless it was showtime. Telephone you think? No, it didn't work. <sighs> I thought for sure his dumbass would get cans, but the guy working it got fired instead. I don't know. I'll think of something. There's no way I'm letting him step foot on set next semester. I know I miss you too. <laughs> yeah, your prom just looked really slimming. This is the same guy who had to get his stomach pumped because he wanted to taste the new strawberry scented soap. Yeah, well, at least I'm not the kind of person who would remind the teacher that she didn't assign any homework for the day, you no fun hag. Hey, let's just cool it, okay? Now, there have been a lot of harsh words thrown around today. You know what, I want to ask you guys a question. You better ask it in the simplest words you can, because apparently, according to Nora, I'm dumber than Forrest Gump. Well, at least Forrest Gump knows how to make shrimp. Bubba made the shrimp! Did you even see that movie? Who's the idiot now? Enough! Do you guys realize how much love you have for each other? What? It's gross. Okay, so I'll take that as a no. Let me make one thing clear to you, douchebag. I do not care one iota about this brain-dead dipstick. Yeah, and uh, assuming an iota is something small, then ditto. You guys have been talking passionately about each other for a long time. That doesn't come out of hate. I believe it was John Dunn who once said, When two loves intertwine, there may be a storm. I... Look. I do not have a romantic feeling in my body for this guy. Clearly, there's a lot of love between you two. Yeah. Same way there's love between me and my dog's turds. <laughs> hey, yo, douchebag, found the menorah you were looking for. Oh, excellent. Thank you, my dude. Yeah, bro. Douchebag toast! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we launched Derek down the street with the Coke and Mentos, but Evan was in the middle of the road tripping on something. Where was his spirit buddy? He didn't have one. Damn! He can defeat chemistry, but not his own hubris. Let me leave you two with this. When love is not madness, it is not love. This is a bomb. Alright, we're heading out. Mm -hmm. Bye guys. Peace. Good work today, boss man. Yeah, thank you. See you later. Let's get drunk. Hey! Yes, please. Dylan, where have you been? It was Sydney. Sydney's the one who Jimmy Carter the prompter. What? What are you talking about? No, I heard her. I was reading a magazine about Jeremy Sternfeld, and she was on the phone, and she said that she messed with the prompter to get Tom fired. Okay, you obviously misheard her. Sydney would never do anything like that. No, Parker, I know what I heard. Sydney is one of my best friends. She would never do anything to jeopardize the show. Parker, I'm one of your friends too. But and you're I also an idiot. It. No, but I would. Just think about it. Who am I going to trust more, Sydney or you, the girl who can't remember the day of the show? It's in the title! God, Dylan. I didn't even know you could make a bong out of a menorah. Me 
if anyone could figure it out, it's a guy named Douchebag Jones. <laughs> We're back there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yes. It's just—it's crazy that anyone could think that, like, that you, you know, and I we, would. Yeah. Uh, the, it's, it's that us. we love each other. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it's insane. It's madness. How great it is to see you. Oh, please, you're the real treat. What are you doing here so late? I was just rehearsing. This is why I love you, Sydney. Oh, do you mind if we go over um, one of the bits from the sketches? Actually, I'm really tired. Oh, I know. It's just, it's, it'll only take a few minutes. All of Tom's lines are gone. I mean, why are you in Dan's account? I told you from the beginning of the semester that I didn't want to co-host. Parker. Everyone needs a co-host, I am Sydney. the Seth Myers of this school, and everybody knows it but you. Don't you dare discredit the work of Amy Poehler. Dylan was right. You're the one that messed with the prompter. I had to. Tom is comedy poison. He's the person equivalent of that backpack skit you wrote. You said you thought that skit was smart. I also told Jessica that her prom dress was slimming. I worked 20 times harder than Tom, and he gets all the best jokes. He gets all the credit. I fired Dan because of you. I just yelled at Dylan and called her an idiot. I didn't make you do those things, Parker. You almost got us canceled. What? Jeffrey, he's thinking about pulling the show. I... Why didn't you tell me? I wouldn't have done any of this if I knew. How was I supposed to know that you were gonna Jimmy Carter the prompter? Are you gonna fire me?